my previous awardees have continued to achieve greater heights and win praise for their good work even after receiving the Pravasi Bharatiya Samman. I congratulate this year's winners and hope that these awards will encourage you to scale even greater heights in the future. Over the last two decades, the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas Convention has served as a unique platform to enable fruitful engagement between government, people of India, and the diaspora. We started this tradition of celebrating our bonds with the diaspora on 9th January to mark the day when Mahatma Gandhi, a pioneer among Pravasis, embarked upon the revival of Indian freedom movement against colonial rule on returning to India. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, the lesson is celebrating Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahasav. On completion of 75 years of independence, these celebrations are dedicated to those who have played a key role in India's progress up to the present times and also to those who are instrumental in realize our vision of Atmanir for fire. Therefore, there could not have been a better time to commemorate contributions made by the Indian diaspora. The theme of this year's convention, Diaspora, Reliable Partners for India's Progress in Amrit Kal, also reflects our desire to make you a partner in the achievements of our national developmental goals. In recent years, the government has undertaken several initiatives for the benefit of our diaspora. These are not only aimed towards welfare of those residential abroad, but also towards enabling you all to engage in the tax of nation building. The overseas citizen of India and person of Indian origin card scheme have been merged and the visas for the OCI card holders have been made lifelong. We are also taking steps to enhance safe, orderly and ethical legal migration of Indian youth for overseas employment. Now digital platforms are being used to address grievances and to help distressed Indian nationals, especially women and migrant workers. We have also undertaken massive evacuation exercise to repatriate India's and provinces from crisis situations, including most recently in Operation Gonga in Ukraine. Your ideas and suggestions presented during the thematic discussions over the last three days will be immensely valuable in charting the path ahead. The plenary session discussing women diaspora entrepreneurs is particularly notable as it shows the potential of our sister entrepreneurs and business women in the diaspora in shaping the entrepreneurial spirit of our women in all sectors of the economy here in India. In addition, our young diaspora achievers can play a significant role in fostering the spirit of innovation and development of new technologies among the youth of India. Ladies and gentlemen, we are facing challenging times today with economic and geopolitical upheaval all around us. Amid all these challenges, India is engaging with the world with greater self-confidence and a wider goal of securing national interest. This can be seen in our strong relations with all major countries and our leadership on various global platforms. As you know, India is presenting, presiding over the 
G20 this year with the theme One Earth, One Family, One Future. This theme, inspired by our ancient philosophy of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, reflects India's commitment to just and equitable growth for all in the world. In the next 25 years, India is going to embark on an ambitious journey of collective hard work, sacrifice, and intensive development to transform into a self-reliant world leader by 2047, when we will be celebrating the centenary of our independence. Your collective power and potential will be a force multiplier in the nation's inclusive development. I invite each and every member of our diaspora family to become a full partner in this journey. You can contribute with your energy, your experience, your ideas, your business acumen, your investments, your technical expertise and knowledge sharing to enhance our capabilities and capacities to fulfill the vision of an Atmanirvar Bharat. The call of the soil of the motherland is something that transcends the barriers of time and distance. While you have built enriching and productive lives in your adopted homes in different corners of the world, our diaspora brothers and sisters will always hold a special place in our hearts. Not only as extended family members, but as responsible stakeholders in India's development. I once again convey my best wishes to the distinguished gathering here and wish you all a happy and prosperous years ahead. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji. I now invite Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs, Sri V. Murli Dharan, to kindly propose words of thanks. Kripya Abhar Prakat Kare. Namaskaram and good evening to everyone. It's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks at this valedictory session of the 17th Prabhupada.